All right, what's happening? This is Destroying Sanity, and today we are going to make another video on how to fix your PlayStation 3 errors and mishaps. We're going to try to go through all of them as much as we can. We're going to use footage from my old videos as well, and we're going to try to make this as much as possible, under 10 minutes. I don't want this video to go over 10 minutes, but if it has to, we will. Okay, all right, let's just let the video begin. One of the things I always get asked a lot is, hey is there a certain game the thing is i can't answer that because there's so many games if you click right here all games it's just going to show you all the games that are uh that are digital pretty much so it's just going to show you all the games that are released one thing i suggest probably doing is going down here and going to platforms and picking ps3 because you're just going to get a bunch of uh a bunch of stuff that you you really don't care. You want things that are going to play on your PS3. Like it's showing PlayStation 1 games. It's showing uh, it's showing PS2 games. And then it's showing the PlayStation games. So yeah, it's going to give you a whole collection of stuff to look at. And if you don't want to look at the games, you just want to look at the DLC. You go to add-ons. And heck, you could do add-ons by title. This will give you an idea. So we're going to go down here and we're going to look for Street Fighter because I know that game should be showing up here. That's the reason I went from Z to A. And as you can see right here, we have Street Fighter Third Strike, Street Fighter X Tekken. And Street Fighter 4 has DLC. But it for some reason doesn't show it. Even though we went to all add-ons by title, or all add-ons by title, it's still don't matter it's not going to show you that game so you have to search for the games okay so we typed in street fight uh, we didn't spell all the way but still it's good enough now these are the top results don't worry about this this stuff is not important i think people get confused that they believe this is the only list no if you go down you'll eventually see all the games everything that's been released or everything that has content for that game as you can see right here Street Fighter 4, the game we were looking for. And that is one thing I want to mention. Because this game does have DLC, it had costumes. As you can see, there's alternate costume pack that this game came out with. We'll go right there so you can see it. It's right there. You can still purchase it. But for some reason, you saw me. I was in the all DLC by title. And it didn't show Street Fighter 4. I don't know what it is with the PlayStation 3 store, but it's very weird where you have to try to look for things that are pretty much are not digital. I think it mostly focus on games that have digital releases. Um, one thing I got to mention and tell people right now is that there's games on the PlayStation 3 that never had a digital release. This is a PlayStation 3 disc only. Remember that. Remember when, I, when I'm talking about because... There's a chance that the game you're looking for and you're trying to buy might have never had a digital release and you also maybe just want some DLC. You're going to have to search the game. There's a possibility that it's on there or not. Chances are it might have been delisted. Some games get delisted randomly without you know, anyone knowing. Like the Sonic games that got delisted, that was just random. But apparently it happens. So you got to make sure on that. All right, so... We're going to go to, obviously, we're going to show the delisted games. As you can see, games are delisted, and a lot of times they are. As you can see, Sonic Adventure 2 says 749. Keep in mind, I bought that game. Here's another game that's been delisted. Soul Calibur has been delisted. I had to buy the from a different server, but it's still purchasable on other servers. You just got to make sure. But one thing I want to just show you right now is this Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duels. Okay? Usually when you buy a game on PlayStation 3, it says purchased. But for some reason, a lot of the games that you just saw me scrolling, I own. I bought with money, and I made videos about it. And for some reason, Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennium Duels is, uh, it still says right there. So when we click on it, it still gives me an option to purchase it. Now what happens if we add it to the cart? It says this purchase cannot 
be purchased at this. This product cannot be purchased at this time. Now, it's hilarious because I already own this product. Now, I think some people have been dealing with this because I know some people message me. I mean, not message me, but comment on my videos explaining that they can't purchase certain things. If you get this message, the thing is, you actually own the game. Possibly. Now, let's show you how it's supposed to look. And then we're going to show you that I actually have this game. All right, let's get it. Let's get it right. So as you can see, when you buy something, it should say purchased. But for, but apparently, I don't own Yu-Gi-Oh. Apparently, I don't own it. Before we do this, since I paused the video, I don't want to make sure that people think this is like a cut and edit. We're going to go back to Yu-Gi-Oh real quick. And we're going to show you that it doesn't say that. It doesn't say purchased. Apparently, it doesn't, it doesn't doesn't acknowledge that I bought this game. I literally bought this game last year. So, we're going to download it. We're going to go to View Downloads. And it should be in my recent purchase history. And what do you know? It's right there. Let's download it. And what do you know? It's downloading. So, apparently, this game... The PlayStation Store, even though you buy something, it's going to say you didn't purchase it. I don't know why, and I'm not here to tell you why because I don't know. But we're going to go to the next issues that people are having. Hopefully, it all works out good. Let's do it. So this happened in one of my videos in the past. And I went to Sonic the Hedgehog 4 Episode 1. And as you can see, there was no add cart button. I just pressed up and down many times. And eventually it would pop out now I'm not saying if you do that it's going to pop out I'm just trying to show you guys that there is people out there who are browsing the store and they're not getting a you know pretty much an add cart button chances are it's still there but you just can't see it mine just popped out after pressing up and down if you don't see an add cart some people have been doing this they highlight the overview and then they press up once and they're able to add the game in cart now be careful because not all games have that feature some of them have try demo so chances are you're gonna have to press two times up as you saw previously my add cart button was you know invincible it wasn't there but then it reappeared I don't know how to make that reappear for anybody all I know is that some people deal with that and some people's add cart button is not you know visible so all I could do pretty much to tell you guys is just highlight overview and press up and you'll be able to add the cart in the game now remember one thing and that is that not all games are purchasable digitally remember not every game had a digital copy some games will say on the description disc only so remember that this may work for you this may not we're gonna start with the first error that everyone gets you know people be asking me is the 800 error if you don't know, the 800 error is a very common error people have been getting trying to get on the PlayStation Store. Now, the only fix that I know of is that you have to do this two-step verification. Not to make this video long, I actually have a video on this. So, I have two videos in case you didn't get it the first try. I will post links on them. And, uh, yeah, most people have to do two-step anyways to play online in 2024 anyways. So, keep that in mind. Some people are not able to get to the PlayStation Store. That's because they're not updated to the current current system. Sony released a, uh, a I like to call it a a hush, a very quiet upgrade for their software for some reason. So you want to click here and you want to update via via internet. Obviously, I'm updated, so there's no issue for me. So you might have to do that. The only way you could the only way you could know. That you need an update if you try to play online it will tell you that you have to update your your system but other than that it won't tell you if you try to get on the store you'll just crash the third thing is obviously the classic one i can't emulate it anymore so i'm gonna put an old footage here from last year and that is to make sure your date and time are set via internet your time is set automatic and pretty much that's about it. I don't think uh, Daylight Savings do anything or the formats or the zones. 
So you don't got to worry about that. And that will stop giving you uh, the stories on maintenance. That is pretty much some of the stuff that people have been going through. I'm not going to buy this game. But I want to... I'm going to proceed to check out. So as you can see, it gives me an option to buy right away. If for some reason, I think it's because I already have money in the wallet. I think it does give you, let me, let me add an expensive game. Something that's over my budget to see if it tells me to put in my, uh, I have this game already. I'm not going to buy it. Trilogy, I have it physically. I bought it for the same exact price. Can't say that's how much it costs now. Some games are expensive, some games are cheap. Let's see if it tells me. Yes, it does. So, for some reason, it still has this option to add your credit card, add your account. And it doesn't work, so don't try it. You And try, trying to do that, it's not going to work. So, just letting you guys know right now that it does not work. So, stop. You're going to have to uh, pretty much, like it says right here, you have to add your funds through your PlayStation app through the PS4, PS5, or the internet through the through a desktop, and that's that's the best way you can add funds to your wallet. Keep in mind, your account is the same wallet is connected to all the consoles, so you don't have to pretty much you don't have to pretty much like think that the PlayStation has its own wallet. No, it shares the wallet with all the all the systems. If you want to know more about this, make sure to click on this video. Uh, I'm going to put a, a link on the description and comments so you guys could definitely check it out. It will do more explanation on the debit card situation, so keep that in mind. One of the weirdest issues on the PlayStation 3 store is when you purchase a game, you go to your view downloads and apparently it doesn't show it there at the top. It will show it all the way in the bottom. I'm going to show you an example on the previous video I made. As you can see, it says Yu-Gi-Oh! Millennial Duels at the very top, but it's just the unlock code. It's not the actual game. Now, if we scroll all the way to the bottom, we're going to see the actual game. For some reason, it puts it at the bottom of the list. I don't even know why. One error that has occurred in actually different scenarios. I've actually have purchased a game, and the game crashes. It's happened to me twice already. This one, as you can see, it crashed, and I wasn't even able to download the game. While purchasing the game in 2024, it actually froze on me during the transaction. As you can see, I'm going to confirm pay, but it pretty much froze on me instantly. The game did get purchased even after it was frozen, so you got to watch out. You're going to come across this stuff every once in a while. This may work for you. This may not. I don't think you guys know this, but you could press triangle and you could delete the PlayStation Store app. Pretty much delete it. Deletion complete. Now when you try to log in, it's going to tell you this feature must first download the software that you want to download now. And you just say yes. <laughs> Pretty much that's about it. I just wanted to say no because I'm, I'm a rebel. But that's about it. And then it might work. It might perform better. You might see those invisible buttons, who knows, but these are just things that you could do to try to fix it. Okay, so we're going to go on recovery mode. What do you do? You hold on the power button. The first beep is turning on beep. Then you're going to hear a second beep. And after that, you want to hear a double beep. Sometimes it doesn't happen in the first try. So you're just going to hear a single beep, as you can see there. So we're going to try it again. First beep is the turn on beep, second beep is for the input, and then the double beep is recovery mode. So let's get in. Once you see this screen, make sure to connect your USB cable and connect it to your PlayStation control. Press the PlayStation button and you're going to see the number four is going to be rebuild database. This kind of helps it a little bit to try to make the system work really nice it pretty much uh kind of helps up with the os and stuff trying to make it run a little bit more smoother and uh it won't delete your games it won't delete your saves so you don't have to worry about it it'll just delete pretty much your, like your folders and your messages you got but that's about it nothing too severe and if that doesn't work 
you might want to try restore file system. Now that one will fix, you know, you'll check for corrupts and missing system files and try to fix it, but it will delete everything. So keep that in mind. Well, if that didn't work, then my only thing that I would probably think it is, is your hard drive. Keep in mind, these hard drives on the PlayStation 3 were old HDDs. They're not very reliable for longevity. So there's a chance that it's dying. And that's the reason why it's going bad. That is a possibility. Don't be wasting money and buying a new hard drive and that wasn't it. Try to make sure everything is going well. You can actually test your hard drive if it's bad or not. Essentially with a program. You have to just unplug it and plug it to your PC if you have one. So there is a way to check your hard drive. I don't have a video on that, but uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of videos online. Or I could probably make one. We'll see. Depends on the comment section if they want to see one. I could make one easily. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Until then, I'm out. Peace.